Hello Capricorn, thank you so much for being here with me. All right guys, so very interesting pull this week, but I like it. So from Lee Vampire, you pulled Supernatural, Inexplicable, Miraculous, and Otherworldly. And then from Shocker Wisdom, you pulled Impatience. Now, Supernatural is one of my favorite cards, and it's because it talks about something that I preach about all the time. Working with this card, it is time now to begin to understand that the senses we all have are not special gifts given only to the chosen. We all have them. You may have been despairing at your own lack of gifts and wondering what your own abilities may be. It is time to discover this by paying attention and through hard work. But I think some of you are becoming impatient. <laughs> now, the card at a glance says, Your desire to create may overpower the necessity of aligning with the divine timing. The time to shine will come. Move with the energy and not in front of it. Being present has its own reward. So really, it's about you running the risk of forcing something to happen when it needs to happen naturally, right? And maybe supernaturally for some of you. It's rare when that happens, but when it does, like I feel wrong by picking it back up. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> I swear to God, I can't make this shit up. <laughs> and you know what I hate is the fact that this card is attached to you. It's so wrong. It's so wrong. The devil. Capricorn. <laughs> so now for some of you, this could really be about, you know, all the negative things that you're trying to get yourself away from. Right? It's all the toxic shit. You know, it could be toxic relationships, bad thinking, bad patterns, bad habits. You know, and unfortunately, like I said, it's connected to you and it drives me nuts. You know, and then as far as that goes, it could be, you know, you being too attached to materialism. Oh, man. But the issue this week is going to be you and dealing with the damn devil. And believe me when I tell you, you are not the only one dealing with him. Now, in the past, wow, the Eight of Cups. So in the past here, and what I worry about is with the devil being here because it's almost like slipping back into it. So in the past, we're looking at what we've spent so much time with and invested so much into, especially emotionally, in going, you know what? I'm not happy with it anymore. It's time to take a new path. Now, with the moon being there, it may be something that you don't know what's going to happen next, right? But you still need to move on physically. But then the question becomes whether or not you've done this because of the devil being there. Cap, cap. What is happening? The Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups being in the present. Man, that's difficult. Right? Fantasizing about things, but not really making them reality. And you know what's funny is that with Aquarius last week, I seen the same combo. And it's almost like, you know, and I still feel the same way. And that may be why you're slipping back into something that you know really is not the best for you. You know, whether it's work or a relationship. So with the Seven of Cups being there, it's like you may have different choices. But is it going to be as good as what that Eight of Cups once was? Wow. It's funny. It's like Aquarius just passed the buck right on to you. You know, and for some of you, it's just a matter of not knowing what to choose now, you know, and you may have some ideas as to what you're wanting to do. But, you know, in the moment here, you're not ready. You know, you're not ready to make that choice. You're not ready to make it reality. Wow. Oh, my God. Are you shitting me? You know, and one of the things that I love about Capricorn is, and this has been like this for quite some time. And I can remember this from back to when I started the channel. Your readings are intense and they are deep. They are deep. Oh my goodness. Death, Scorpio. Oh, for crying out loud. Death being in future conditions is saying that a situation is coming to a close. And there is nothing you can do about it. I always tell people when death comes in on his horse, you don't have a choice. The only choice that you do have is whether or not you're willing to go through the change. But it is about the transformation of yourself. You know, and I do like it in terms of the fact that we're looking at the devil. Forget about the fact that it's Capricorn, which bothers the piss out of me. Because, you know, honestly, I see the King of Pentacles more so as you. But anyway, 
you know, this could be the definite ending of a really toxic and bad situation for some of you. It is completely over with, you know, but I worry that some of you are tempted to slide back into, you know, the negative things again. Because, you know, and, and that's the other thing that, you know, people miss. But so with the Eight of Cups, I always say that, you know, it's easy enough for somebody to tell you to walk away. But sometimes we've got to kind of stay with the bullshit until we understand it and can move on. With the devil, for me, it's like drawing, drawing a line in the sand. Like, no, you cannot do this to yourself anymore. You got to get out of this. You can do it, right? But hell, my goodness. You know, it, it's almost like if you continue to stay with something that you know is not good for you, you're just going to be clinging on and it's going to end and it's just going to be like a disaster. And that's what I worry about. You know, but I'm hoping that for some of you, this is like welcome. It's welcome, right? Like it needs to end. It needs to be over with now. I need a new beginning and I need to recreate myself. Wow. Okay. Your best path to follow the four of pentacles. Stop holding on to shit. <laughs> the four of pentacles is really telling it the fact that, you know, when I see this card, I remind people that what it's really about is somebody who is not willing to give up what they have. They're trying to maintain their status. I've gotten to this point of stability. I don't want to give it up. But if you don't, right, and you don't open up to change, then you just see the same things over and over and over again. Man, you know, and I, I can understand that, especially with the Eight of Cups being what's coming through here, because, you know, even though we're looking at the four here, you still got to the eight at one point. So why would you want to give that up, right? It, like, I, I have stability with this, you know, I put a lot into this. It may not be a good thing, but I'm not sure that I'm willing to give this up just yet. And what does this mean if I go through this change? My God. <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. In your environment, the Five of Swords. <sighs> and you know, with the devil being there, what I feel like is that this is somebody that is trying to keep you, you know, trapped in a situation, really. And it's like they're willing to do whatever it takes to keep you where they want you. And I say that mainly because of the devil being there and you showing the seven of cups in the present moment. It makes sense. I would want to go into fantasy land and wishful thinking too if I had an asshole that was trying to stop me from getting rid of the difficult shit in my life. You know? It, oh my goodness. But I still feel like with the Four of Pentacles that, you know, even though you may be dealing with an asshole, you, you've put a lot into this with the Eight of Cups, you know? But really, it, it, it's time to release it, you know? It, it's time for the change to happen. And, and it's funny because I look back at Supernatural and looking at death and I think, you know, something happens here that makes this situation end that's almost to your benefit. Wow. Your hopes and your fears, the Six of Swords. And, you know, again, it's very telling. Wanting to get away from this. Wanting to say goodbye to the past. Wanting to get away from the Five of Swords. You know, it may be emotionally difficult, but the whole point here is to move on to a calmer situation for yourself. And this is what you're hoping to be able to do and not have to deal with this kind of nonsense anymore. Wow. I love my Capricorns. I love you guys to death because, you know, no matter what is happening, you always do the right thing. You will always do the right thing coming out. And I've always said that about you guys. But more so than that, your readings are intense for me. And I don't know if maybe it's because Capricorn is my midheaven and I feel like my best work is always done with the Capricorn readings. But man, like it's so deep. It's so deep. And like I, I'm sucked in. I can feel it. I understand what's going on. But it just it still blows my mind. 
All right, Cap, <laughs> you're building the suspense here. Here we go. Here's the outcome here. Oh, you know, and I feel good about it. I feel really good about it, but I'm going to push my luck and we're going to clarify it. The three of pentacles. So you start working, you start working toward the changes that need to be made. I don't think that you're putting any more effort into this because I would have expected to see, you know, something negative, but that's okay. You know, we're moving on from this. We're getting rid of this crap. We're putting our effort in. So with the three of pentacles here, it, it is talking about the new start. So, you know, if you realize your hope here with the six of swords and you get away from this stuff, it's no longer a matter of you fantasizing about anything because the situation is over with. It is over with. Now it's all about you and working toward what is going to make you happy, what makes you feel good, and what you are confident in. And for some of you, besides a relationship here, it could be a job. Now with the magician, it's about manifesting that cool ass shit. You have what you need. And it is about you being confident in your abilities here, right? Now with the two of wands coming out here, and it's funny because I make the relation between these two. You have, you know, the initial thought, the initial spark, but really it's about, you know, laying down those plans to apply it and acting toward it, which is the two of wands. And then coming out of this, though, and this is where I worry is the five of wands, you know, and it could be one of those things where, you know, it's you butting heads with yourself about, you know, what you should really be doing here. But the thing is, is no matter what kind of struggles you face in future conditions after this situation is over with, this one is saying that you're going to come out on top, right? And that's the one thing that I love about this card with this deck, because you see the one rising above the rest. And that is you, you know, especially in terms of you getting a better job, right? But I think this is much deeper than that, much deeper. But don't battle with yourself. Don't fight with yourself about whether or not, you know, you are making the right plans. You know, just keep going. Keep going because it's all about, you know, your transformation here. And about what happens after death, right? After things are done. And then passion. What is your passion and following your passion? Wow. So yes, needing to pay attention to, needing to, pay attention to your inner voice. You know, especially if it's telling you that you need to let go of all this toxic crap now and move on. With balance, it's all about, you know, getting that balance back in your life, that balance and that stability. And even with the Six of Swords, you start to see stability again. And passion, having a passion for what you're doing, having a passion for your life, going after your passions, but being more balanced as far as that goes and not trying to force anything here with impatience. Appreciate this moment. Each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love. And it's really about being in the moment, right? And not forcing things to happen with impatience, but, you know, appreciate every moment. Forgiveness. Nothing can be gained by holding on to past disappointments. There you go. God, I love you guys. I love doing your readings. You guys need to talk to me and tell me what's going on here. I just thought that it was weird that when I picked up the deck, I looked at that half and I'm going, I have to take it. And then Capricorn being front and center. And then everything else that's going on here. So please, please let me know. But definitely you know, when coming out of this and coming out of death again, you always do the right thing. You know, but don't second guess yourself. Don't let anything stop you and don't let any other bumps in the road make you feel like you should slip back into, you know, the negative things that you were trying to get away from in the first place. All right, Capricorn, <laughs> the way that shit happens sometimes, it just blows me away. Now, I really do think that Aquarius like passed the buck to you guys. Like I'm blown away at the fact that I'm watching the same thing happen for you guys that happened for them last week. Now, first of all, the devil, which still it bothers the shit out of me that this is what represents you. So all the negative stuff, all this negative toxic stuff that needs to go, right? All the bad things. The eight of cups and the seven of cups. You know, again, the same feeling applies, but I think for some of you, it's more about not being ready to make a choice right now. 
you know, you're thinking about it for sure. But then I also think that the reason why, you know, we're not really making a choice here is because of this asshole that may be in your environment that may be trying to keep you trapped with all this negative crap. Now with the Eight of Cups coming through, man, you know, again, it's investing so much into it and then it being junk. But, you know, and, and I'm telling you, it's like otherworldly here, all of a sudden death. <laughs> it's over with, like it's over with. And it's all about the changes that you are making for you now. You know, the situation needs to be done with. The devil is gone, it's done with, right? Unfortunately, I do think that a lot of you are dealing with it right now, but we're moving to this point now where it's going to be completely over with. Now, with the Four of Pentacles, right, you can't hang on to anything. You can't hang on to anything when it comes to this. You know, you may lose a little bit of stability here, but you do have balance coming back through. Now, with the Six of Swords, right, like I can see it. You're wanting to move away from this. You're wanting to move away from the Five of Swords. You don't want to deal with this anymore. You don't want any more conflict. It's time for you to move on from it. Now, with the Three of Pentacles coming out, I feel good about it. Like, I feel good. You know, you're doing the work here. You're doing the work that's necessary for you to move on and rebuilding that balance and that stability. And it's definitely about you having confidence in your ability to manifest cool ass shit. Yes. And you're laying down the plans. I worry, though, with the Five of Wands, it's not bad, but, you know, it's really about you rising above the rest. You know, just don't slip back into bad patterns and bad situations that are not going to give you what you want, right? And don't be impatient here for change to happen. You know, it's coming, right? Like I've always said with death, you don't have a choice when it shows up, right? The only thing that you have a choice on is how you react to it. And I think you're going to be fine as long as you start putting in the effort for you and seeing what you actually want to see, you're going to be fine. Like, don't stop. Like, don't stop, Cap. Just keep going. Now, inner voice, balance, and passion. Your inner voice is telling you we need more balance, we need more stability, but you need to follow your passion, for sure. And appreciate this moment. Your power is in the moment, and your power is your ability to pull on this forgiveness. It's amazing, Cap. Like... You know, you can't hang on to the past disappointments. And I mean, that's exactly what this is. You know, it's over. It's over now. And it's time for you to have better things in your life. Your readings are so deep. They're so deep. But you guys are definitely going to have to let me know what's going on here. But don't slip back. Don't slip back in the into the toxic shit. Because, you know, there are options in front of you. And certainly don't let somebody else pin you in this toxic situation and make you feel like you don't have a choice. 